Hello, YouTubers. This is another session in the Vazar project. Um, you know, we are continuing today our journey to uh, write C sharp code to provision infrastructure components in the cloud. And, uh, you know, if you are following this session, if you want to follow us, we changed a little bit of, uh, you know, we did a little bit of re restructuring. So we're going to put on the project itself the proper Discord channel that will take you to uh, our group. Now, all of our projects are now a part of the standard community. Hey, Sean, what's up, Sean? How are you? Pretty good, how are you? I am fine. You're still, you're still alive? Okay. I hope, I hope my internet is you, fine. You hope, you, hope you're, you hope you're fine, okay. <laughs> we'll see what your, how your internet operates today. Perfect, perfect. Perfect, no problem. <laughs> I pray for it all week. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please work. <laughs> All right, let's wait for the other folk and let's get started. Actually, let's see where we're at. Let me open up Bazaar, Bazaar.core. One task that we really need to kind of do, I was just talking about that, uh, is to basically update the uh, the Bazaar uh, GitHub repo. I need to add it to Git file. That's for starters. So all that work mm -hmm. that you guys are doing, it goes straight into your Git file profiles. That's great. What's up, Vlad? How are you doing? I'm in the great. How are you? Pretty good, brother. Pretty good. Where is the uh, Where is the guy that's pinging me, <laughs> and then he never shows up? Yeah, yeah. So he was also pinning me on Discord, but yeah. Let's see. Yeah, we we. I was just saying that we kind of, you know, kind of consolidated all these different channels and all these different services I'm running. So now the OData, existing standard community, Vazar, the regular expression community. Everybody, everybody's in. Everybody's coming in. We're in a good place. So we'll see what that looks like. Okay, let's see where we are, where we're at actually. So if I go into the uh, project here, let's see where are we at this point? Did we start writing processing services? Do you guys know, or did we just stop at the foundation services? <laughs> I think we stopped at the foundation services, right? Okay, the next step here is going to be just you know very straightforward. We want to utilize that. We want to utilize all that work here. And that last round is the easy round. Let me increase the um, the resolution on the screen here so people on their phone can see us. So let me go into display settings. Let's go to 150. And let's put the screen back on. Here we go. All right. Cool. So let's do this. Okay. So this is, this is our... Uh, state and now the next step here would be to create a processing service so need processings so this is foundations this is processings and then under processing services we need a another one that's called cloud managements and then and then and then I'm gonna do an iCloud management service so this is i cloud management processing service this is one processing service that's the interface and then the other one was cloud management cloud management processing service so that's in there and then let's go and slap in here some copyrights copyrights to, with the name of the guy that's not showing up okay so yes sir when you watch this you know just i hope you're feeling okay <laughs> No, in all honesty, he was a little sick last week, so I uh, saw earlier this week, so I hope he feels better soon. All right, let's see here. Um, okay, what's what's the other thing that I want to go to here is public class, and then let's go to the okay. So, what kind of capabilities we want? Something to go and look at the configurations. So I need that configuration broker for starters, right? So I need a function here that just says process, void, process, async. Pretty much that's all I need. And this guy is a value task. It doesn't really do anything other than just asynchronously processing, you know, what's in the configuration. And the configuration will basically go and give us the name. Do you guys remember this configuration here? So you have a project name, 
and we have environments and we need to work with these environments to be able to kind of do that processing that level of processing so um, um okay so so let's see here um let me do an i cloud management service here and let me kind of bring that implementation and we need two things so private first of all we need the the configuration so i configuration uh broker so that's our guy configuration broker and we also need the i cloud management service which is the service that has all these nice methods that we built together Oh, hold on. iCloud Management Service. Cloud Management Service. All right, so here we go. And then let's go initialize these guys. This is Cloud Management Service. Equal Cloud Management Service. Oh, no, sorry. New Configuration Broker. And this is a new Cloud Management Service, right? Oh, there he is. What's up, dude? Oh yeah. my god, he's so sick and tired. He became an ancient mummy. <laughs> <laughs> when was when was the last time you ate? You ate food. When was the last time? How do you how, how do you stay so skinny like that? I'm so jealous. <laughs> it's it's just natural. It's uh, natural? Okay. Mm. All right. It's just natural. I just woke up in the morning and I was just fabulous, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay so, okay man that sounds good man you want to you want to keep your secrets that's okay so listen listen yes sir we're just building the cloud management processing service mm -hmm. right and what we really want to do here is that we want to utilize the configurations that we got there so i need that configuration i need to go here and say cloud management cloud management configuration is that what we called it Bilal? i think yeah, cloud yeah. management configuration. He's my configurations. And I want to go here and this is my configuration cloud management configuration broker dot get configuration. And that guy will give me the configuration from this guy. What is this configuration? It's exactly what's in the app settings in here. What I need to stand up, the services that I need to stand up and the services that I need to tear down. That's really all that it is, right? So let's just go back to this guy real quick. So I have my configurations. Your configuration will have an array inside of it, right? First of all, you have the project name. That project name is the guy that's, that you're going to pass to each and every single method that we created. Like if you guys remember, let me let me just do this. This is your project name, uh, configuration.project name. Check this out. It, if I go here and say, you know, I want to start building my resource group. So I resource group like this and here's your resource group and then you go and say await this dot service the management service dot create resource group the first thing that the resource group service is going to ask you for is what project name right but where are we going to get the environment from any guesses where are we going to get the environment from because this guy is asking for both the configuration the, the project name and the environment so where is the environment let's see if people are still uh, awake you guys fell asleep? What happened? Tell me. In in, um, in, in what? Uh, we have it's that in the configuration file in up. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. So we need kind of an iteration here, right? That says this is my environment, string environment in right configurations dot up. So that will give me all the environments that I need. Right, so let's go back here. Let's take that guy up like this and do control K E K D and it will fix that. So now I can go here and say, Oh, yeah, here's the project name and here's the environment. Right, so far, so good. So I created my resource group. Let's see why this guy's mad. Uh, this guy is oh, cloud action dot environments. Sorry about that. Okay, so so now I have the environments. Now I'm iterating over these environments. I'm creating, right? So after the resource group, I want to create what? I app service plan, right? You guys remember that one? This is app service plan. Await this dot management service dot create app service plan async, right? The exact same way. Am I going too fast or are you guys keeping up with me? 
You guys fell asleep. You guys are tired today. Project name. Project name. Project name. name. And then the, the environment, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, then and then the resource group. See, now everything is coming together now. Like everything we built in the last couple of sessions, it's coming together. It's all built up very nicely to help us kind of build the system. Okay, what's after an app service plan? You know, we want to build uh, I SQL server. server. Yeah, exactly. So this is my SQL server. And I'm gonna go here and say await this dot cloud measure. So how see how simple this is? Provision uh provision SQL SQL server async. Right, there it is. And what does this guy want? It wants a project name. What, what a surprise. Environment and then environment resource. and resource group. So yeah, programming can be very simple, right? If we want it to be. And it can be a nightmare, it can give you a panic attack every day. If you don't really put the time and effort into making it simple, right? Okay, you guys, want, I'll, I'll show you the alternative to this. You can either do this or you can go build ARM templates. Good luck. No autocomplete. Go figure, right? It can be wrong. It can be right. I'm even adding something new to this where you can actually test in an environment. You know that you can pull Azure locally on your machine, right? Like you can build Azure on premise. So I want to give you the ability to go and say, I want to know that all of these components would actually build in real time. And that's the real challenge. There's also another challenge with the ADO. Do you remember when you built the pipelines, you know, uh, uh, manually? I want to tell you that this would work without you having to wait until you get to the pipelines, right? This is called airplane mode. Like, I want to know that my code runs without me having to connect to the internet, okay? All right, so SQL Server, then what? SQL Database? Yeah, SQL Database. Okay, so this is SQL Data. I think it returns something other than a SQL Database because it, it has some information that we need. All right, let's just see. A provision SQL Database, and this guy needs a project name, environment, mm -hmm. and what? The SQL Server. Great, but this guy here returns something else. It returns... Database name. Yeah, SQL Database. Mm -hmm. And because this guy has some information that we're going to need when we're building the app service. Right now. <coughs> excuse me. The next thing we want to do here is to go build what the, the app service. So I web Thanks. app. We, we really won't need it. But it's nice to kind of have that in terms of if you want to be consistent in a way. But you won't really you're not really going to need that variable. Not necessarily. Right. Unless you're doing some checks and you want to do something else with it. That's your thing. Anyway, so uh, app service plan async. And this guy has all the requirements in the world, right? Uh, no, not the plan. Project name. Project name. Web app. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where is it, you guys? Do you see it? There it is. It was hiding. Right. So I want project name. I want environment. I want database connection string, which is in the database dot connection string. Right. I want an app service I plan. I want resource group, everything. It wants everything from us. This is the guy that we're building all of this for. Right. So this takes care of the up part. Right. What about the down? Right. The down is so easy. We want to go here and say for each uh, uh, string environment environment in uh, configurations dot down dot environments the easiest thing in the world how we do how do we destroy all of these things that we just built just delete the resource group hmm. if you destroy the house you destroy everything in the house just as simple as that so how do we do that we just can go here and say this is my cloud management service dot deprovision did we not do the deprovisioning part did we forget to do that one Oh, we did, just, didn't we? Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. This is the, oh, we forgot to do the deep provision. Bilal, do you want to do the deep provision? Sure. I don't want to ruin my groove. I want to stay in that groove. So just, just push from your side and I'll wait here, okay? Okay. okay. So, Bilal is going to take care of it. Bilal! Bilalovich. 
Velalo de Burtivo La Cronia. I don't know what I'm saying. It's been a long day. <laughs> you guys, today, the four of you, the three of you, you are the engineers number 33, 34, 35 that I talked to today. So I'm kind of, my brain is already out, you know, just been arguing mm -hmm. and talking with people all day. Reddit this, work that, YouTube this. Let's go. What you see on YouTube is only 1% of what I'm actually doing behind the scene. I'll just say that. <laughs> Let's go, Vlad. Let's go, son. Let's make it rain. So it's like sinking, putting the crash punch. Man, that's crazy business. Look at that. All right. It's taking a lot of time. Are you at? Uh, are you using it? This a lot? Imagine doing a VPN and your VPN ends up being in Dubai, where you have to rely on Etisola to give you your data. <laughs> like imagine the VPN server is in Dubai and you have to VPN into that. <laughs> Uh, don't forget the interface. Don't start start with the interface first. Hmm. We're not animals. Where do you think you are? What are you doing? <laughs> I forget. So we just need to deprovision resource group, right? And we just need to give it the resource group name, and that's all, right? I think, as far as I remember. I don't know. Bilal knows all the answers. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. It should be Boolean or resource group. Yeah. I think it returns. I don't know what it Boolean. returns, honestly. I don't know. You know. Deprovision, yes or no. I mean, Boolean, it should return, I think. Even I don't Deep, know. Deprovision destroys, you know, your entire situation. Let's just keep going. Right. Just keep going. Let's see what it does. <laughs> I would just leave it at value to ask because it doesn't really return anything. You already destroyed the damn thing. Hmm. Deprovision resource group async. How you doing, Sean? Sean, you stay still so much. I have no idea if you're frozen or not. Why? How do you do that, bro? Like, I can't stay still the way you do. Like, this is you, Sean. This is you. How do you do that? Complete focus. Complete. <laughs> I am Complete so. Focus. I am so still. I am invisible. <laughs> like like Batista from the Marvel movies. What's his name? Drax? <laughs> uh, Bilal and Yasser won't know what that is. That's just a bunch of nonsense in the theaters. You know. All right. Here it is. <clears throat> now you're going to have to implement that. You left, you left a couple of empty lines in that interface. You seem to be very generous with empty lines, brother. What's that all about? No, no, you're fine. No, I'm blind. I'm very sorry. You're absolutely fine, man. Let's go back. Control minus. Yep. Sure. We could also use the mouse. That's <laughs> also I think so. There is another shortcut. I think so. It's like F6 or something like that. You can also use that as well. Oh, okay. the provision resource group so this will take down the resource group all you have to do is just change your configuration and it'll roll up or take down that's it all right environment nice there you go very similar stuff we want to get the resource group name just like you're doing it up there do you see if you scroll up a little bit you'll see the exact same line where we get the resource group name copy that guy 
Copy actually the couple of lines. Actually, copy everything. <laughs> yeah, just put that in there, and then let's just change the uh, uh, the provisioning to deprovisioning. Uh, oh, you you miss you miss build environment, and then put parameters. Environments. I, I, so I think that there is one environment, strong environment. Yeah, but you misspelled it. Environment. In, okay, okay, in VAR. Environment. Oh. <laughs> ha ha ha, chouchou. Pre professionnel. Let's go, man. Look alive, Bilal. Okay, and then provisioning resource. This should be deprovisioning. Yeah. Nice. And then delete, I think. Yeah, just delete. And what does delete want? It want the actual group or what? Uh, cannot implicitly convert to void. So it says that it cannot convert oh, to void. Oh, 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 I think I know why. Because you need to pull that resource group first. Like you need to pull the reference for it. Is that right? Uh, so is it something like chick resource group or something like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's that. I don't know for some reason the autocomplete is not showing, but uh, it's just like that. Is it is it showing just the dark screen for you guys too as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's the streamyard uh, thing <clears throat> because it's, it's streamyard is garbage. Yeah. Let's hack it. <laughs> so, so for, for me, autocomplete is working perfectly fine. I uh, I can press the tab and make it come autocomplete. Show off. No, we're saying we can't say it, see it, mm. but we, we see it popping, but we don't see it, what the oh, actual see. content of it. So that's because he has shared only the Visual Studio window. And that's right. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. That's right. Okay, what do we do now? If else, something like that. Just type. If, if. Okay. Ah. Then... Uh, uh huh. Keep going. Uh huh. So. I resource group or something. I think you have to pull it. So, so we do have the I, I resource group. Like we have checked it. You know, it does exist. So like. So what does the delete resource group async takes as input parameter? Uh, it takes a resource group name. That's what we are passing it to now. So, so go inside that guy, see what it... Oh, you know why it's freaking out? Because it doesn't return anything. So just take away the I resource group. Yeah, take away all that. Mm -hmm. We should also tell, like, in the logging, like, in the activity, that nothing has happened, like, resource group doesn't exist or something like that. So that would be the deprovisioning resource group. So, so just like only the deprovisioning part or with the name of the resource yeah. group? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, that, see line 54? Copy that and just slap it in there. Yeah. Okay, let's fix the indentation on this guy. I think so. Yep. That's right. Just fix fix the indentation though. Uh, on which line? Yeah, line sixty two. Give it a give it a tap. <laughs> Do control KD for me. Yet. No, still not right. And where did it go? So... 
Yeah, and we also should pull that method all the way at the bottom because it's, it doesn't fit in that kind of crowd. But um, anyway, yeah, don't worry about it. I'll clean it up. But um, that's... Yeah. So we have logged it twice, the deprovisioning resource. Yeah, that's he's going to say checking instead of deprovisioning, but there's still some work to be done. Yeah. And you don't oh, need so to... Sure. Yeah, so it, you see that deprovision. Let's just pull. Let's just pull the method down first. And then... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let, let's get rid of that return statement first because we're not going to return anything. And then the other thing is uh, we want to basically say, um, what should I call it? We want to say at the beginning, checking, checking for resource group. You see that line 131, checking for, checking for resource group. And basically, yeah, that's perfect. And then in here, deprovisioning. And in the else statement, just say could not find, re could not find re resource group with name, blah. Yep. Yep. And the remove completed, and that's it. Just a, a, a period. And put a message there and give it a tap. That should be it. So tap on line 150 and tap on line 145 with a message. Yep, add, add, add the parameter name and you're done. <clears throat> no, no, no. On line 145, just do control period. It will add the input parameter name. Okay, uh, do, um, like this. Yeah. Add the message. Okay. Yeah. That's it. <clears throat> Push that guy. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> Foundations. So this one is like provisioning. So yeah, foundations, and then just type deprovision provision because it's a foundation service that you're building. Deprovisioned resource group. Yep. Okay, there we go. We made it. Send that guy over. All right. Is it my turn? Let's do this. Let's go over here. Thank you for that. So I want to keep that cha these changes that I did. So I'm going to stash it, right? I'm going to stash all that stuff temporarily so I can pull um, so I can pull Bilal changes and then re apply my stuff on top of it. Because what Git does is that if your branch is not clean, it won't let you pull data onto your branch until you stage whatever changes you have. So now that I can see this, if you look at the foundations or uh, foundation services, I see that the provision nice thing that just that I just created right now. So now I can go back and apply, you know, apply all my changes on stage. That basically means if I go into my processing service in here and I go into this guy, I should not have any problem saying the provision resource group. Right. And that guy is looking for the environment. Right, and it's looking for, sorry, it's looking for the project name. It's looking for the environment. And that's it. So it's basically going and saying all the environments that are, um, all the environments that are, you know, uh, doing a particular thing in here, go ahead and do that. So we want to clean that up a little bit, though. So I'm going to take all that. I'm going to say provision resources. So this here, I'm going to extract it. And I'm going to say provision resources async. So that's one, right? And then the same thing applies to this guy, right? I'm going to go here and say, hey, go ahead, extract this deprovision resources async like this. Okay. What's weird about these guys is that, you know, they still look kind of funky, right? Kind of funny, funny looking. 
So let's see here if the configuration itself already has the project name in it. So I don't need to pass in the configuration and the project name. I can get rid of the project name completely on both of these guys like this. And I can go and say, oh, just take the configuration and that's it. That's all you need. And in here I can go and say, well, for this configuration dot project name, something like that. That works too, right? Maybe this will make it a little bit cleaner if I just go here and say string project name equals something like that. And I can throw that project name in there. Okay, so that's one. I can do the same thing over here. Here's my project name, iterate over everyone, and then go and say, uh, let's see, are we even... Yeah, this guy needs to go, right? So now I have these two, so that's great. <laughs> now, we also know that provisioning comes before deprovisioning. So we want to be able to create first before we destroy. So let's go and do that. Let's do this. Let's do that. Done and done. Okay, so it's getting a little bit cleaner, right? There's still another trick here. The problem with the serializer, the JSON serializer, is that these environments, if they are empty, they don't come back as an empty array. They come back as null. Like if I look in here, it's not going to give me environments down as an empty array. Because it mm -hmm. sucks, you know, the serialization sucks, right? So we need to do something about that. I need to go here and create a private method, private um, static, static list. And this list has a string. And this here will say get environments like this. And this get environments will get the configurations that I want, right? So if I can go here and say, uh, what's what's the what's the environments called the uh, the cloud action? Yeah, it takes a cloud action, right? So this is my environments, like this. Okay. So now my environments look like this. I can go and say, okay, if invi return, if environments is not null, then return the environments. Otherwise, return just an empty list for these environments. Right? Can I, can I simplify this a little bit? Yeah, I think I can. I can go back here and do this. And that should do the trick for me. So this is... Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is a list of strings. So this is, uh, 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 let's see. I want to make this just as simple as humanly possible. Okay, this is my cloud action. And I'm going to go here and say cloud action dot environments. And if that's <coughs> a, and I don't need the return statement in here. There you go. So this is get environment. So this is just calling the environments here is too dangerous, right? Because we don't know, right? So I'm going to go here and say uh, 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 deprovision, deprovision environments, get environments, and then I'm passing in the cloud action in here. So this is my cloud action, which is down, and it will know what to do with it, right? So now I can take this whole statement and just put it in here. Okay, what else? I can do the same thing over here. Up like this, and it will. This is provision environments. And then I can take that guy and put it right here. Okay, so now we're done. This is the whole story. You know, Bilal, am I missing anything? Did I diverge too far from the original provision project on, on OSSS? I think so we did, yeah. In here, in Bazaar, we have like... Where did I go far? Let's see, let's see my original implementation. Like, I, I try to cowboy these things just to see if my mindset have changed, you know, in building things. Let's take a look. So this is OSSS in here. If you go on to GitHub, and if you go on to the provision project, if you go on to services, processings, Let's see if my new self is smarter than my older self. That would be fun to see. Ah, so, so definitely my new self is smarter. Because see how I'm passing two variables in here? Mm, yeah. That's so dumb. Why did I do that? Why don't I just pass the entire cloud configuration and let it do its thing? 
So he definitely my new self is a little bit smarter. That makes me happy, right? Because although that this statement is play by play, right? But in here, I basically went and said, no, wait a second. You know, why don't I just, you know, um, why don't I just, you know, I guess retrieve environments is better than get environments because that's the language of this guy. But everything else, yeah, good job, Hassan. Hassan is smarter. Hassan is getting better at, at his craft. That's good news, right? The only thing is that this just needs to be retrieve. Retrieve like this. That's it. Right? Beautiful, right? Beautiful code. No problem there. Love it. Right? Let's cl break this apart like this. All right. So this is the processing. Now, the one last thing, I'm going to let Yasser do it so he can kind of close it, close, it, close it off. Actually, Yasser is sick. Let's let Sean, the one who does it. Sean, do you want to write some code? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to write some code, okay? The internet is going to start dropping now. <laughs> implement, implement, process, provision, keep provision. All right, go ahead. On. All we have to do is to make a soul, and then you're gonna be the one creating the PR. <laughs> Let's go. Let me share my screen. What do you think, Yasser? Is this easy? Is this simple? What mm -hmm. do you think? Okay, that's good. That's nice. Here's Sean. He's going to blind us all with his light mode. Gee. Oh. 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 Oh, you're brutal. Oh. We, can, we, can, we can call this fight screen of death. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should right. turn off the lights in my whole house. Sean is already providing us with electricity and light <laughs> okay now this is blazer this is blazer. <laughs> blazer this is blazer that's right so sean all you gotta do is to go to program cs and just go there and type you know remove all that put the copyright Control period, brother. Mm. And then just type this exact statement. Await, remove remove system and all that nonsense. And just type await. Actually, let's uh, initialize first. So above that one, let's say var cloud management processing service. It should be iCloud management. No, 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 the variable name. Oh, what's the name? Give him a chance. Don't don't get too hard on him. It equals new cloud manage. Oh, I see what he's saying. Okay, cloud management service. Yep. Open close parentheses. Pull that guy. Yeah, he's right. Let's make the var i cloud management service since we don't have any transient kind of uh, instantiation. Just make make the left side i cloud management service, please, Sean. Yep, and then open close parentheses on this other guy. Oh, where iCloud? Oh, it should be iCloud management processing service. Processing service, yeah. Also, why there is no iCloud management service? Did we call it something else? Anyway, just pull, just pull the reference. Yep, and also the instantiation should be cloud process, cloud management processing service. Yep. Yep, yep. Yeah, let's let's pull that guy to the next line, Sean, the new guy, and then uh, yeah, they just do await, uh, await cloud management service. Dot process async. The how the tree went all the way up, and then now it's just up here. All this work that you guys did, it all starts from here, right? Now I personally hate, you know this new non main method kind of file so what i recommend go to OSSS, pick up a real main method like a normal person and slap it in here i i don't like this uh scoped namespace file nonsense that people are doing these days i i don't buy it 
There it is. Provision. No, brother. Yeah, provision. And then go to program. Yeah, copy that main method with the namespace. Take the namespace. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, let's put that in there. And then we just need to pull in the references and we should be golden. Don't forget to change the namespace from OSSS to bazaar.core.api. So there is no web, it's just core.api. Yes, sir. Control K E. No, you don't need that guy. We just need the processing one. That's it. Right? So you can push that one and say program or exposure. So click that and just type in there. Type uh, type program. Uh, no, no, not program. Exposure. Exposure. Yeah, and just say, you know, just implement, implement processing. Yep, processing service. Yeah, sure. Yep, push that guy. So now we have a PR. Okay, this is it. This is the provision product. How many sessions did it take us? Like three? Um, five or six. This is sixth, I think. This is the sixth one it's just, for, sixth. just mm. for the provisioning? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. I, I did two of them this morning. It took me half hour each. But that's okay because we're talking. We're explaining things, mm. right? right? It might take uh, a look. Because we started with the, with, with the draw.io where uh, we actually uh, figure it out you know what requires what and we build the entire uh, plan and then we started the, with the building each uh, class and each interface uh, that's why it took long but it's a very good tutorial for someone who wants to know from scratch how yep. i can build this yeah thing. yeah agree so the, so so the provision just the provision effort it took didn't take six session did it which which session is this total? This is the fifth one, I think. This is the fifth. We must have taken only like two or something, or three. I'm telling you, we just took three sessions to wrap up the provision. Maybe we are at the ninth session now, or the tenth. We also missed two sessions. Yeah, this is fifth session. Really? For provisioning Azure resources. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Uh, last time we completed part four, that is fourth session. And this is fifth session. Wow. We on the fifth session. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sir. Do you want to do the honors and create the pull request? Yeah, yeah, sure. I will just wait here and watch you. <laughs> yeah. So now what's the next step, you guys? We did the build. We did the acceptance. We did the unit test. We did the provision and we did the API. Now we go back into the real stuff, right? We go back into, oh, by the way, someone someone opened up a pull request against your PR to add security. Mizan, Mizan Rahman. The only problem here is that I I still need to talk to him about a lot of things. Do you see, do you guys see anything mm -hmm. problematic in here? Anyway. Okay. We, yeah. Also, he like in a single commit, he changed too many number of files. Like he changed so many files, and he added so many files, and it, like there were no like committing uh, committing structure that we follow. Yep. Are you saying that thirty six files in one PR is not a good thing? I agree. Anyway, I, I'm still talking to him. I hope he joins one of these sessions so I just explain that stuff to him. Let's jump back mm -hmm. into Yasser's screen with his bright. Oh shoot! You and your. Okay. Did you create a PR yet? Yeah, you just need to make it a, uh, yeah, so you just need to make it uh, ready for review. Just click that button, ready for review. Boom, done. So once the build completes, okay, I'm going to take your screen, yes, okay. Mm -hmm. So this is, so this is, this is our, this is our work, you guys. You can see here, the beautiful thing about this is that you get to see everyone's effort is recorded. Right, so when I push this and put that project under Git file, every single bit you made 
every single minute you spent is going to be there forever in your profile. It'll say this guy actually knows how to build infrastructure projects, right? Hmm. Um, a, a, a small task and a small ask for people. I'm going to create a new task here called documentation. Add all sessions videos to the readme. All these sessions that we're doing, when someone comes and looks at this project, even if they don't know about the YouTube channel, they can find all the videos in here. Just like nice. I did with OSSS mm. and all that kind of stuff. You will see that in so many different projects. Like if you see an OSSS like this, you'll see me doing that. Any project that I pair with people in, I give people that. Mm. Some of them are more than others. Like if I do Tarafu Core, I think Tarafu is like 36. This is just the front end, and then there's the back end of it, right? So, uh, sorry, this is the back end, and then there's the front end of it. And there's a lot of work going on in different places. So anyway, this is one big community where everybody agrees on an engineering standard. So today, if I go pick up Shri or Elbic or Mahdi or Brian Parker or, or Stanislav, I can literally pick up someone randomly across the community, and they can help Yasser build his project. That's the beauty of writing a standardized oh. software. And it also right. allows us to innovate, right? This is our chance to be able to go and say, how are we supposed to innovate if we're still arguing with how to build our services? It just doesn't make any sense. And we're still burning brain power into that. Anyway, it looks like your build has passed, my friend. And before we do that, I want to go, let me show you another trick. If you do hash like this, you can find initialize provision project. And if you type the word closes like this, and you click update and you actually close the PR, it will close the issue for you automatically. Okay, so if I go into the issue here, that issue should be closed. Hold on, or maybe not. Well, that's embarrassing. It should have closed it. Anyway, I guess it's close, not closes. Fine, sure, sorry. Okay, so now we're done with this, right? There's two tasks left, right? Yasser, yeah, you're going to have to find some free Azure account credit. I think Azure, they give you like $50 or something. Mm -hmm. And we might need to do a special session. I'm not too worried about the release right now, right? So there's still a release project that we need to have, right? I'm not too worried about the release project yet, but you know, uh, we're going to need you to create, please go watch the session where I provisioned in Azure how did I pull out these secrets? How did I create key vault and I'm accessing these secrets and pushing them up there? But also there's another task Shri and I are trying to finish, which is to build your release pipeline. You go to dev and go to OAT and go to production. In your case, you're just still in staging state. So there isn't really environments that needs to be created. It's going to be like that for a while until we start building an actual mobile app and stuff like that. So our next step then is to start building storage brokers. Right, we're gonna start doing entities, storage brokers, primitive crowd operations. I was sitting with a guy today who does networking. He never touched software ever. And I was showing him the brokers and he said to me, this is so easy. I was like, I know, but it takes a lot of time and effort to make things easy, right? It doesn't just come easy. You have to mm. think, you have to think about how do I make it easy? And that's, that's why we create a standard to make things easy. So, okay, so starting next week, we're going to start writing some business logic. We're going to start building brokers. We're going to be doing, uh, are you guys want to do still four amigos? We're going to do four amigos until we do, we're going to go all the way up to the UI. And then after that, you know, I won't do any sessions with you anymore <laughs> because you know now how to do it. So what I'm going to do with you is that I'm going to show you how to do all crowd operations. And then after that, you know, you're just going to be able to run, you know, tasks on your own, which, yes, sir, it will expedite your project so much faster. But but at some point in time, we need to have like a little stand up. Mm -hmm. So instead of instead of meeting twice a week, we will meet once a week and we will agree what needs to be accomplished by the end of that week. Right. And by the end of that week, we need to be able to go and say, you know, uh, uh, Bilal and Sean are pairing together this week and Hassan and Yasser are pairing together and then we're going to shuffle, right? And then every week we're going to sit down and say, okay, here is our backlog. Here is the user stories that we need to finish. And I will show you how to write user stories. It's very simple. It's beautiful, right? 
you're going to be able to go and say, okay, in order for us to implement retrieving, you know, uh, stores, for instance, we need a storage broker, we need a, a, a foundation service, and we need a controller and an acceptance test and so on and so forth. It's going to be so, so much fun, right? It's going to be so much mm -hmm. fun. So every stand up, we're just doing demos. We're just, you know, you know, meeting with each other, doing demos, discussing the next. If there is a something that I haven't talked about already on the channel or something that requires us to kind of engage. I mean, if you're pairing with me, you're going to go on YouTube. That's for sure. But we want to expedite that process. We want to we want to split into two teams and we want to allow, you know, every team to go and write their own system like, you know, in parallel. Does that make sense? Yeah, mm -hmm. other than that, I, you know, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you, you know, showing up today. Yeah, sir, I hope you're feeling better. I hope you're excited. Are you excited? Do you feel that your project is coming together? You will you will not believe how fast the project will go starting from that point. Because the rest of it is just very straightforward, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to write orchestration services, coordination services, maybe queues. We'll see what we're going to do in there. All, All right, right cool. guys. Cool. All right. All right. All right. And of course, for the people watching us, as usual, I hope you found this session, you know, useful. It's a little bit longer session, so you can take your time and understand, you know. But if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. And as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. I appreciate you all. Take care. Bye. Yeah.